Hello guys and this is the Russian Genius and in this video I will be showing you how you can produce a card and make it vanish. So produce a card and make it vanish and then reproduce it again. Let me show you this once again. So here we have the card, it's going to vanish and then if I want to get it back it reappears. The Vanis looks something like this and what is happening is that the card is behind the palm. Here's how it's done. You're going to be holding the card at your fingertips in this grip right here and then you are going to be doing this. You're going to shake the card and when you shake upwards then it's going to vanish. So once again you shake it and then it vanishes. So you are in this grip and now your index finger and pinky finger they're going to go up. This is kinda like, you know, the uh, Spider-Man. So just like that. Let's use another card for this. So boom! Ace of hearts, let's use this card. You are in this grip. The card is right there. This is quite simple. This is not difficult to learn. It may take a while, but this is simple to do. So simple to do, difficult to perfect. Just keep that in mind. So you are right here and now your index finger is going to go down and your pinky and now your fingers are going to extend and as you can see the card has vanished and when you want to get it back all you have to do is just do that to get it back so vanished and then the card comes back I like to do this I like to make it vanish and then I like to get it back with the use of these two bastards so this one and this one. So quite simple you do the spider-man and then you take the card and now it's palmed, back palmed to be more specific and here's how you do this with two fingers. It's much faster, much more visual, you can even snap your fingers and get it. It looks almost like a camera trick if you do it at the right angle and at the right speed. So the card vanishes and if you want to make it look like a camera trick you can probably do something like that or if you want you can snap your fingers in front of your hand and then it looks even more like a camera trick so here's how you do the reproduction you can do it like that or if you want this card is getting so old man let's use another one so you can either reappear the card like this or if you want you can reappear the card like this, which also looks insanely visual and really good. I mean, this looks so nice, it's, it's amazing. I mean, look, boom, just like that. It looks so good, it looks beautiful. Man, look at the sexy move, look at this. Boop. This looks awesome. So those are the two ways of reproducing the card with one hand or you can do it with two hands. In my opinion, this looks really visual where you do it with one hand, but with two hands it also looks quite nice. It's actually quite simple. Once you are in the back palm, then your middle finger is just going to pinch the card and now I have pinched the card with my middle finger and index finger on this side, on the long side of the card. And then I'm simply going to rotate my fingers. I'm going to twist them like this. So I am here and then I'm simply pinching the card and then twisting my fingers. So in two steps it looks like this. Pinch and then rotate my fingers. It's quite simple. This is easier than this, which a lot of magicians they do. A lot of magicians they do this, which is totally fine, I think, but the more visual part is by simply doing it 
with two fingers these two bastards so that's how it's done let me briefly explain how you vanish the card once again so you simply are in this grip and your fingers are going to go underneath and then your fingers are going to straighten up and then the card has vanished now if you are doing this on stage then these corners they don't matter too much when you are performing on stage because those corners they cannot be seen if you are performing on stage if you are black and you are performing on stage then i would recommend using black cards or using uh, cards that have black edges all right i'm i'm not being racist so anyways, thank you for watching, I hope that you enjoy my tutorial on this move, this move is extremely awesome, it looks really good indeed, and there are a lot of ways of doing it, normally I do this with a deck of cards in my hands, so while I'm talking, then I simply do the Spider-Man, so I'm talking to the spectator, do you remember your card, and while I'm doing that, I'm doing the Spider-Man, just like this and then I simply do that move and then I'm ready it's extremely easy extremely quick uh, as you can see I have a blue card in a red deck it's because this is a brand new card and this is a really old deck as you can see so here's what I do I simply ask the spectator to pick a card let's say that the spectator picks the blue card for some reason I would place it inside the center do the pass or something like that and then I would probably turn it over and then do this and then get the card so quite simple just like that and then boom also if you want the back to be seen first then you can do it from the bottom if you know what i mean so thank you for watching i really hope that you enjoy my tutorial on these moves and also i have never in my life seen a magician do this before there's probably someone who has done it but i have never seen anyone do the spider-man and then clip the card like this and then do the move so what i mean by this is i've never seen anyone do this pre-setup the way that i do it to get the cards if you are performing for kids then i recommend doing this and then going right behind their ear and then grab the card like that that looks extremely good and they will get really impressed thank you for watching make sure to like and comment and subscribe and also i have another channel which you can check out so feel free to check it out it's going to be right there so thank you for everything and thank you for sharing and showing support and also on my website and i will see you guys in my next video